What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.25 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, using equations 2.27 and 2.30, find the potential at a distance z above the center of the charge distribution in figure 2.34. In each case, compute 4D electric field using the definition of negative gradient of the potential and compare your answers with, exper uh, with examples 2.1, 2.2, and problem 2.6. Uh, okay, so this, is, uh, this, uh, this problem has three parts or three configurations. Okay, so in this video, we're going to solve for the first video, our uh, first uh, configuration, which is a configuration of two point charges. Okay. Okay. Now, because uh, so the equations that we're going to use will depend on the configurations that we have. So in this video, we're going to start with the two point charges. So this is a discrete set of charges. So therefore, we are going to use uh, equation 2.27, where in equation 2.27 states that the potential at a certain point R is just equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the uh, sum of Qi over Ri, square, Ri, where I is equal to 1 to n. So in this case, if we're going to apply it here, this will now be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, okay, uh, plus at, uh, times the sum of qi. So in this case, let's say this is left and right. So we we'll start with left. So this will be q over r1. r1 would be this length. Okay, which is equal to, uh, which is equal to, uh, uh, this which is equal to square root of z squared plus this is this length, this d would be the di distance between uh, the two charges as in example 2.1. So that means this distance is d over 2. So R1 would be equal to square root of Z squared plus D squared over 4. Okay. So this is square root of, uh, this is R1. By symmetry, this is the same as R2. So this is plus Q over R2 because R1 is equal to R2. So therefore, the solution would be the total potential will now be equal to uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 q over r or square root of z squared plus d over 2 squared. Okay? Simple, right? So that's the potential. Now let's verify if this is the case. Okay. Now electric field. So remember this is along. This is in Cartesian coordinate system. So this is a, a function of z. So the electric field will now be equal to negative derivative of v as a function of z, z hat. Okay, so this will now be equal to negative uh, 1 at 2q over 4 pi epsilon naught times the derivative with respect to z of z squared plus d over 2 squared to the negative 1 half. So, this electric field, the electric field, solving for this differential equation, uh, the uh, derivative 
will give us uh, the result E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 QZ divided by Z squared plus D over 2 squared to the 3 halves Z hat which is in agreement to this is in agreement with example 2.1 okay so very simple very simple solution okay so in the coming videos we're going to solve uh, the rest of the problems okay so that's all for now and i'll see you guys in the next video the continuation of our solution to problem 2.25 okay so see you guys next time bye bye